So if you're watching this video, you want to get your first brand deal. I'm here with my friend Bella, who is a Instagram influencer with a small following, and we're going to show you how you can get a brand deal with any size audience. In this video, you'll be able to walk away with the tips and tricks my company, X8 Media, personally uses to land some of the biggest brands in the world, and how you can too. I'm like so excited. Let's jump in. So I'm so excited to be here with you today because we're talking about brand deals. Yay! For people who don't know you, do you want to talk about like your name, age, where you're from, what you're doing? <laughs> Just a quick bio, like Bella. So I am Bella Osterhaum and I am 17 and I have been good friends with a well-known YouTuber, Haley. I've always had kind of just like a tiny bit of a following just from being friends with her and so up until this year i never really used my instagram or treated it as a business it was more just like posting pictures with my friends so this year i wanted to start taking it seriously and start being more of an influencer right now i'm currently posting more lifestyle things but i want to get more into fashion type content so that brings us to today's call and you also want to work with fashion brands maybe i asked you last week to create a list of brands you want to work with. So Bella, imagine if this call goes well, you learn everything you need to know. One month from now, everything goes well. Where do you want to go? Definitely want to be able to work with pretty nice brands and hopefully start monetizing my content. I think that's the main goal for me right now. I just think that it's an amazing opportunity that I already kind of have a head start or have my foot in the door. In the future, I want to have my own brand of some sort. I totally agree. I think starting early can allow you to in the future decide have more options right so in today's yeah. video we're gonna teach you how to get your first brand deal and we're gonna talk a little bit more about working not only with just any brand brands you believe in and brands that value you so you can get paid sounds good yeah you wrote down a list of like 80 brands that you want to work with. I already looked at Bella's account and I can definitely tell you with your current following of around 30,000 and your engagement rate of like 10,000 likes, I would definitely say you can charge a brand anywhere from 500 to $1,000 per post. So when you hear that number, what do you think? I mean, when I see that number, it's pretty shocking, honestly. It kind of makes you realize like, oh, that's the value of what I'm posting. Like, I don't think I understand the value of yeah the audience that I have, the engagement I have. So. So the current problem that you have that is holding you back from charging $1,000 per post, which is great. But the reason why you feel like you're not there yet is because you realize that some of the emails you're getting from the current brands are not as valued to your worth. Maybe they don't see it or they're coming in with a different kind of collaboration. Yeah, I think that a lot of the things I'm getting are a little bit of commission code action or sending products. And I feel like that's not the direction I want to take it right now. And a lot of the brands that are asking me to work with them, I feel like aren't necessarily appropriate for my audience. And I want to be able to cater things to them in my demographic and not just take everything I get. I would say if you want to make money with brand deals, it's all about two things. And I'm going to go over these two things that will get you to your goal. So the current problem for Bella right now is her brands that are kind of coming in aren't her ideal products or they're not having enough cash flow to invest and not all brands have money and that's totally fine but for Bella's goals of maybe creating a business or traveling you need capital to like grow and there's nothing wrong with that a lot of people get really weird about money and I used to be the same way so we're gonna dive right in get you some brand deals so you can start your next phase of your career. So in order to understand how Bella is going to grow her account and get some brand deals, we're going to use the analogy of football. Now in marketing and in your content, you can't just be an offense and just, you know, just attack and attack outreach. You still have to have defense, which is good content. So I'll, I'll go over what that looks like. So if offense is attacking, it's going out there and getting brands. You need to email brands. You need to send pitches. You also need to think about aligning a brand's mission with yours, right? Now let's talk about defense. You have to create content that attracts brands in. The main difference is for offense, you have to go to brands and for defense brands come to you but you need both because what happens when you just have offense right if you, people are just attacking and no one's staying at your baseline you're not going to win the game and it's vice versa if people are just defending and they're not attacking you're not going to get progression so in order to win a game or win a brand deal you need to have both so step one is to make a list of brands and don't try to think about what's realistic the key is volume so you came up with 80 companies which is great so in order to get a brand deal you need to outreach and outreach to me looks like emailing today i'm going to teach 
Isabella how to find the email of a person at Diabletics, create a script, and make sure that they reply. And we're gonna do all of this today. Are you ready? Heck yes, I'm so okay. ready. Okay, I'm gonna teach you my secret tools, tips, and tricks. So let's start off with finding the email. So finding the email is probably the most important. Like you don't ever, ever, ever wanna just email someone with like an info at fabletics.com. A lot of people make that mistakes. I use a tool called hunter.io. This is completely free. So I just wanna let you know that. But hunter.io basically scrapes the entire internet world and finds companies for you to email. So let me show you how to look for this. Type in the domain fabletics.com. You wanna find someone who is in marketing because they manage all the brand deals. So what I'm gonna do is literally find their bio. So this is a senior design manager. So you don't want that. Communications is probably your ideal. So you can click this and you can find that there's like a media at fabletics.com. That's a good email to look from because it, it's more specific to working with maybe media. So I would kind of copy this and what I would do is I use something called Notion to document all of this. I told Bella to document everything on Notion so you can add this to the link. But I always recommend to get at least two emails for each brand so you can have an option. I would really say it's key to find more of a personable email. So what I can do is I'm gonna go find someone who has more of an involvement in the company personally. Another tip is if you can't find the marketing person on hunter.io, you can always use LinkedIn. So what I'm gonna do is go to Fabletics and then I'm gonna go into their people, employees. It's kind of sneaky, sneaky, creepy stuff, but you wanna go find their marketing person. So here you go, online director of retail marketing. Look at that, Daniela Pastor. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Then you can go back to hunter.io and find Daniela. So you wanna find the name. If you guys are struggling to find it, you can actually use the same software to find Daniela Pastor at fabletics.com. It's super cool. It kind of finds it. There you go. There we go. So you want to copy this email, but now that you have this, you can actually email both contacts and you have two options in increasing your chances of getting a brand deal. Awesome. All right, let's talk about formulating your email. I'm going to go over to Gmail. The key with sending out emails is making the first email short and sweet. At my company, X8 Media, we send a ton of emails to brands and we find that for every 10 emails we send, one person opens and replies. So when reaching out to brands, just keep in mind, don't be scared to send out an email because it's a numbers game and you need to be okay with experimenting and sending a lot of emails at once. I'm going to send you the email script that I typically use so you can just see it. This is a really simple universal template you can apply, Bella. The key with this is sounding professional, straight to the point, and not talking too much. If you talk too much, it seems like you're too much time on your hands and no one wants to talk to you. That's kind of weird, but it's true. But what you want to do is say, hi, my name is XYZ and I'm reaching for a collab inquiry for your name. My channel, or you could say Bella's channel, is a blah, 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 with how many subscribers or followers you have. And talk about how many likes you have because that's the most easy to showcase your engagement rate. Say that we would like to do an ing integration featuring your product. Let me know you're interested. Hey guys, it's Editing Jade. I'm gonna give you guys a quick little influencer rant slash bootcamp, okay? I see a lot of influencers make this mistake and they add the pricing to the first email. The reason why this is a problem is because brands don't work that way. And let me explain. So yesterday I was speaking on a panel with Ian from SeatGeek. If you don't know who Ian is, he's the director of marketing for SeatGeek, which is a huge company that sells tickets. They're responsible for doing the multi-million dollar integrations with David Obrick and all those successful campaigns with billions of views. And he told me in our on our panel that the way they measure success is conversion. And, and they issue out budgets every quarter. Okay, so what does that mean? So you have to understand in the brand's perspective, if you come with like, this is how much I charge and A, it's the wrong time because they don't have that, you know, you didn't come at the time where they're issuing the budget. Second of all, if you have a fixed rate, then they feel like you're not as flexible and they feel like you might not even want to be a part of the campaign because they don't have it. So what you want to do is you really just want to plant the seed that your brand exists and put it at the forefront. So maybe in the few weeks or a few months, they'll keep you in mind for their next campaign. I think that's the key thing I realized with outreach. Like you have to have the expectation that you might get lucky and close a brand immediately and get product. But in regards to getting bigger payments, brands work in a quarterly system. So be very patient and understand that you want to basically use this email to get yourself out there in regards to closing the brand deal, I'll have a second part of this video series where I talk about how to follow up with brands and you know continue that process. But for now, this video is all about reaching out and kind of getting your name out there, okay? So just want to let you know, have that expectation, and thank you for listening to my TED Talk.
So once you find the email, formulate the email, it's time to send it out. So what I want you to do is I have an assignment for you because Bella's freaking battery is 4%, so we have to rush. So this is your task this week. You have to email 25 brands, find their email using hunter.io, or you can DM them if you're struggling. Send them out the script. You also want to send out the media kit if they ask. I have a whole video about how to build a media kit. If you guys want to see it, let me know. I recommend not to send it in the first email. Do not send it in the first email. Just send it if they ask. And then we can talk about negotiating rates. Like I mentioned, Bella, you can charge anywhere from $500 to $1,000 per post for the feed. For stories, you can charge anywhere from $250 to $500 per post. So that's something to do if they do reply. So this is a great opportunity for her to close her first deal. I think you're ready to go ahead and attack. Let's do a follow up next week to get your results to see who replied, how to negotiate. Like I mentioned, for every 10 emails, typically I get one reply. So don't feel bad if you don't get any. Okay, awesome. I'm so excited. Bye, Bella. I'm so excited for you. I'll talk to you later. Bye. All right, guys, so that wraps up how to get a brand deal. Stay tuned for part two when Bella reports who replied and who didn't. We'll go over the secrets, tips and tricks on what to do when brands don't reply and how to follow up the right way. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Thank you so much for watching. I love you, Dharma Nation, and shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you would like to be the next comment winner, all you gotta do is comment below. See you guys very soon. Bye.